The original plan was to use the lemon placemats that everybody loves so much, but summer came and went, and then they came out with pumpkins, so we are using pumpkins. These are made out of 100% polyester, and they are incredibly slippery. Between that and the clear vinyl that I'm going to need for the window, I'm using clamps instead of pins to try to hold it all together. The plan is to use one whole placemat for the back of the bag and then piece the front of the bag with a second placemat. So far the best idea I've come up with is to cut this into thirds so that will be my top, my bottom, and then I will have to shift it sideways to get those side rails for the windowed front. The math of these always stresses me out, especially when I have a limited amount of fabric to work with. I am trying to piece the front section to match the finished placemat, which measures 18 by 12 inches. When I cut the second placemat into three strips to piece the front, those strips measure four inches wide. After I take off a half inch seam allowance, quarter inch on each side, that means they will finish at three and a half inches. So the 18 inch width minus seven gives me 11. The 12 inch height minus seven gives me five. And then I will need to add a half inch seam allowance to each of those. So my piece of vinyl is gonna to need to measure 11 and a half by five and a half inches. Honestly, after all the time I spent planning and then avoiding this project, it is going together a lot easier than I thought it would. This is probably the slipperiest stuff I have ever stone on. I am zigzagging every single raw edge because I just imagine it will fray like crazy. I've added the two side panels to my vinyl window and then I folded them over and did a straight stitch just to make sure everything is gonna lay flat. Now I'm gonna add my top and bottom panels and it really looks like I have got the sizing right that it'll match the size of the back. Once I get these this sewn together into a front panel all I have to do is add that zipper and sew the side seams. So this is a quicker project than I expected it to be. I don't know why I procrastinated so long on this project. The fabric is slippery as heck, and this bottom seam doesn't want to lay quite as flat as I would like, but once I put a project in my project bag, that is going to stretch out. This is $2 store placemats, a thrifted zipper, and a piece of vinyl left over from making my other project bags. The lining is the back of the placemat. And that it, little scrap there is all of the placemats that I had left. This was an surprisingly easy project and went together a lot faster than I thought it was. In hindsight, to go with this pumpkin, maybe I should have put this piece of fabric on the right instead of the left, but I am not going to worry about that. I believe Angie Bell from My Fairy Treasures is the first one I saw talking about making bags out of the lemon placemats, and she's the one who sparked the idea of could I do a zippered project bag with a vinyl window so thanks Angie for that. I'm Michelle this is my romantic tangle thank you for watching. I'll be back with you with more videos soon.